Hello guys, today we're going to have another look at the John Deere 8360RT model. Uh, last time we added the LEDs to the back here, uh, we also mounted our uh, servo for our lifting arms. So today what we're going to do, add the motor driver for our motors. We're going to add a, a battery into it, it's only a little small battery but uh, it should be good enough to keep the tractor going for long enough. Most of the time we're going to be pulling something like a trailer and that will uh, provide most of the power because the trailers can obviously carry much bigger much bigger battery and we're also going to add in a, a, an Arduino Pro Mini well, this is an IC Stations Pro Mini but it's the same thing and um, that should pretty much finish off the lower half of the model so let's get started The next part of the build is to add our motor driver. I'm going to solder it underneath the motors here where it should be pretty safe. So here's the motor with all its wires added now. I've also connected the wires for the servo in. So the next thing we're going to have to do is try and squeeze all of this into the body of the tractor and then wire it up to an Arduino if we can. It's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze with all of these additional wires. I also added plenty of power lines because uh, this is probably the best place to take off power from because there's lots of grounds and lots of uh, 5 volt connections or well 3.7 volt because the battery we're using is only 3.7 volts but this board is a good place to take those connections from. So here's everything back in the model and you can see we have quite a lot of wires here so the only thing we really have left to add is a battery, a switch and the Arduino. So I'm going to use a 3.7 volt 240 milliamp hour battery. Should give us around about 15 minutes life. And I'm just going to position it between this screw here and the same screw on the opposite side. And it's going to be above the wiring loom in here. And the server is going to come in on top of it with its pins. So it's going to be something like that in the end. And the final thing then will be our switch. I'll cut a hole in the floor of the model. Uh, we'll just have that little switch sticking through there somewhere where we can push it easily. Okay, so I've mostly finished the wire in here. Uh, I have under our uh, servo here I have a little 280 milliamp hour battery and I've added our Arduino here so it's a Pro Mini, it's an IC Station Pro Mini but it's the same thing, it's, it's open hardware so it should be exactly the same I have a little switch here that just coming into the switch is the positive from the battery and going out goes to all the different uh, VCCs of the chip and the motor controller and the or, or well the XP that's uh, I'm temporarily using an XP in here because I haven't finished the cab yet. So at the minute our battery signal is going to all these different connections and also coming out the back here. So we have ground we have positive, we have ground, we have the positive, uh, that's that's actually directly connected to the battery, so that's not connected to the switch, so there's always power coming to this, even if the tractor is switched off, that's because this is going to connect in parallel with the battery in the accessory, in the trailer, or whatever it is we're using. Then we have a servo signal here, and a serial signal for our accessories and I'll show you the different um, the different functions of the accessories working now. I have the trailer which is serial and I have the uh, mower, the John Deere mower which is just a simple servo. So first thing I'll, I'll do is show you the motors in action. Um, the tractor in here it has a steering wheel so 
instead of you know two joysticks like the like I did for the excavator, you know, push the joysticks forward to go forward, put a little back to go back. I'm gonna do it the same way as the other tractors. So you have a drive joystick and a steering joystick and you just push the drive that'll make it go forward at a certain speed. You turn the steer, that slows one of the motors down. Turn the steering the other way, slows the other motor down. That's just a simple steering that we're going to use for this. So, I'll show you that first. Okay, so I'll flip the power switch on the tractor here. So there we go, we have a little bit of... Uh, just the code isn't perfect so it starts off driving but that's not a big deal. So, we push forward on our joystick, goes forward. Pull the joystick left. We're slowing down one motor. You can see there the motor is stopping. So that's just how we control it. On the camera you're seeing flicker but uh, there's no flicker for me. That's just the, the shutter rate of the camera with the pulse width modulation of the LED. So it looks like it's it looks like the L, or the brake lights are blinking but they're not actually blinking if uh, just the camera isn't fast enough to get the solid picture. So that is how our steering works. Just slow one motor down and speed the other one up. So instead of going like that to control each motor, we have steering and a drive. Okay, another feature of uh, this model is our working hitch. So, the code isn't perfect here, but that is that is the functionality of our, our hitch. So, it's pretty perfect. The code is a little bit to work on. It's a bit jittery, but uh, it's not too bad for the start. Okay, so now we're hooked up to the cramp half by trailer. That is a serial trailer, so we need to send some serial commands to it. So uh, I have control again. It's the same controller. I'm just gonna move control with this. There we go, our serial control on this tractor is working fine, definitely no problems there. So let's check out the servo control using the mower. Now one thing I should have mentioned, the, we have a, a 750mAh battery in the trailer and that is now, while we're hooked up like this, it is powering both the trailer and the tractor, which will mostly be the tractor while the trailer isn't actually doing anything. So we've greatly extended our battery life just by hooking up to the trailer. Okay so now we have the John Deere mower connected so we can adjust the angle of the mower like that. It's pretty simple. All that there is in this model is a servo and a servo and some AAA batteries. Um, we can also adjust our kind of height of our mower here just by raising or lowering our our three point linkage at the back of the tractor so we have quite a bit of control on this model now and it's very very simple just one servo absolutely nothing to it but yet it's quite a good little model again the code needs a little bit of work on the servo is a little bit jittery so I need to sort that out properly but that's the basic idea of it so far ok so the final thing we need to look at is the LEDs in our tractor you've seen me install the LEDs in the front here so I'll flick the switch here 
and you can see they are pretty pretty bright headlights they're not too bad um, the red light under the tractor is just coming from the microcontroller so once the bottom is on the tractor here you won't see that, that won't be a problem um, we also have some lights at the back of the model so so yeah here. we see we have some working lights here uh, again the flickering of the brake lights that's just to do with the frame rate of the camera or the shutter rate um, we have our our indicators here we have the the, our, the hazards are on at the minute so you should see our two hazard lights here blinking on and off um, so our working lights are pretty bright and you might be wondering why there's no indicators on the front or any other lights on the cab well that's because the cab I'm going to put another microcontroller and a different radio module at the minute I'm using the XB but I'm going to change that so when I do the cab there will be indicators here there will be some uh, type of light here maybe the same as the ones on the back I'm not sure uh, I'll put some of those big lights up on the top here and I'll put a beacon on but that will all be controlled by a separate microcontroller that's in the cab so there will only be four wires making a serial connection between the Arduino in the cab and the Arduino in the bottom of the tractor. So that's as simple as that's going to be. Well that's as far as I've got on the John Deere 8360 RT model so far. So I'll be updating the cab next. I'll be installing the Arduino and the LEDs in the cab. So if you want to see the rest of the build make sure and subscribe so you don't miss that. And if you have any questions you can post them in the forum or post them below the video and I'll do my best to answer them. So that's everything. Thanks very much for watching.